What is up everyone, Tony once again with a very quick video on V-Ray for SketchUp. This time I decided to record a video on how you can achieve a mirror material within SketchUp. Now in my opinion, I believe a mirror material has to be one of the easiest, way, easiest materials to create. Because all you really have to know is how to manipulate the settings of your reflection layer. Right here, let's go ahead and create our mirror material. So the first thing you want to do is add your reflection layer. So right click and obviously go to your reflection. Now within the reflections options there are three ways that you can basically create the perfect reflection so that you can achieve that mirror looking material. Now one of the ways is that when you apply a reflection the Fresnel's effect is there by default. Now all you really have to do is disable that Fresnel's and you can do that by going through the M right clicking on, on the, the map here that says Fresnel's and just screw all the way up to the top and select none. This is simply going to disable any Fresnel's feature that is come that comes within your reflection setting. And what you will get is a perfect reflection that is constant around the surface. So if you render this, you will get a mirror. Another way to go about it is to simply get the Fresnel's effect back. So you go into your M and you kind of just undo what we just did and you scroll down and get back to the Fresnel's um, reflection. When you preview, this is basically where you start from. Now within the Fresnel's there are also two other settings which kind of mean the same thing that you can intensify your reflection. So one of those ways is to simply scroll your parallel color all the way to white. This is going to help you intensify that reflection to almost near perfect or basically perfect in my opinion. So once you click OK and this is completely white, you're going to get the same um, reflection you got when you disable the Fresnel's effect. And when you click preview, that's exactly what you get. And if we render that, we will get the same results as we're getting right now. So I am not going to re-render that. The third way to go about this is, so aside from increasing your parallel color, all you really want to do is increase your IOR value. So if you keep this to a very high value, you will get, once again, a near perfect reflection. So you want to keep this at a value maybe about 40 or anything above that or maybe a little bit below. Try experiment what can what can work for you. And you simply press OK. And when you preview, you will still get that perfect near reflection. And if I render it once again, which I won't, or well, I probably should, and let's press render to see what happens. Another great way for you to kind of like save time here is to use the region render. This will basically allow you to just render a specific area of your or a specific viewport of your render so that you don't have to waste your time waiting for the rest of it to uh, kind of show up. That is basically it for this video guys. Thank you so much for watching. I'm hoping to keep making more of these. So post your requests and comments down below. Like if you appreciate it. I know this is a very basic video and it's almost near easy to just kind of create a mirror material.